Hello and welcome to the third part in my look back at Tony Hawk skateboarding or pro skater depending on where you live in the world. This is the first competition, the Windy City Slam in the Chicago Municipal Skate Park. Hope I said that right, uh, quite hard to say. This is one of the levels I really remember most I think. I think mainly because it was on the demo I received that made me want to buy the game. I think the reason I kind of get on with this level really well and really enjoy it. This, this is the first uh, competition and I do enjoy the competitions. Uh, this is really a nice easy one if I remember correctly. I mean the other two are fun, it's just they're really really hard. Not so much the burn side one I think, I think the final level is really really hard. Oh, don't think I wanted to do that. I remember I did used to get the goal quite often. I don't remember, every, I think I got the bronze once the first time I played it. So hopefully I can turn this around and get the gold. Oh! That was not clever, I put too much spin on it. Based on that, I don't think we're going to be getting the, sil uh, getting the gold. But you do get three hints, I think it's the best two. Or am I thinking of Pro Skater 2 and 3? Now this level uh, was reused on American Wasteland. And I remember it being really, really good fun on there, I think, when I used to play it online. It was the level I think was everybody seemed to be playing on. I, remember, I could be wrong on that. It's just what I remember. And I remember having some really good matches online on this level some really close ones and it was really it was just a really fun level on American Wasteland I think it had actually had objectives on American Wasteland it was part of the in part of the classic mode I think that's what it was called on there I think like I'm trying to think what they were I know it was boneless over the rail was one of them I think it was boneless something like that I know probably was some score ones but other than that I don't really remember what they were I'm hoping with the HD Pro Skater game coming out soon, I'm not sure, still not sure on the date that uh, there will be online s modes. I'm not sure if there will. I, haven't, I don't think anything's been said. No, I don't think anything has been said. I think nothing's been mentioned about it. I mean, what I've read on the Wikipedia thing on it, it hasn't mentioned it. I mean, I know obviously Wikipedia is not always trustable, as it can be edited by, edited by anybody. I haven't. Don't think I've heard anything on that. Um, I did have to restart there due to um, not getting a good enough score. Hopefully, I can get the gold this time. It's got, I'm getting off to a really good start here, actually. It's actually funny watching these tricks. I know they're so easy to press like, as I'm going along here, but it's just whoa. I mean, it's probably not as good as watching the real thing, but you know, it's just as well. I wouldn't say just as good because it's obviously not. But I think with here, you can go a bit. It's a bit more overboard, isn't it, compared to what you see in real life? I think what you know, what you see in real life is abs absolutely amazing. It's amazing people can do that. Oh, that's not going to help. Um, if you didn't know, uh, Balin, I, I imagine you'd guess that, Balin pretty much dents your score quite uh, quite a bit. So you've got to try and avoid it as much as possible. I think that's really why the later on levels I find so hard. problem with me is I like to give a bit... I start to think, oh, have I got enough and get... sort of think, oh, I haven't got enough and start going really risky. And I don't... It, well, obviously, it's not a clever thing to be doing. But I think... As long as I'm just going to try and take this one nice and steady and try not to go too overboard with the tricks. Problem is, I, I tend to just get going with it and keep pressing the R1 button to spin. Actually, it might be R1. No, I think it is R1. It's actually, I'm playing this and I'm forgetting what button I'm pressing. Ooh, that was a nice move. I think it was a method.
I always seem to keep doing the rocket airs because they really do give you the most points I find. Is this going to be enough? That is looking good actually. 24,000 there. Ooh, a 95.1. That is good. We're back in it. As long as I do this next run, I've got the gold. So I'm going to be very nervous now. I think not the transfer here is really the biggest score. It's a really good opening, I find. It's amazing, I'm like really nervous, this much nervous over a game and it doesn't mean anything whether I win it or win it or lose. It's really funny. I think that's why most people do play games, it really just gets you so involved. I mean if I do fail here it's going to be annoying for people watching it but hopefully I'm going to pull it off. Well, we've got a really good score already, nearly in 30 million, uh, 30,000, sorry. Can I hit 30? Oh, I have. Oh, that has got to be worth something. I think we've got gold. 97.2. The first judge gave me 99 something. 99.1 by the look of it. Bloody hell, excuse my language. And that is the gold, and that is where I'm going to leave this video. So thank you very much for watching my videos, or this video. And uh, I will see you for the fourth part.